in this question instead of taking mass length and time as fundamental quantity we have to take force length and time to be fundamental quantities and then we have to find the dimensions of density pressure momentum and energy in the first part where we have to find the dimension of density density is given by mass by volume therefore dimension of density is m divided by l cube now we know that dimension of force is mlt to the power minus 2 in order to bring dimension of force into the relation we multiply lt to the power minus 2 and then divide the expression by lt to the power minus 2 thus we get dimension of density as dimension of force divided by l square t to the power minus 2 and thus it becomes fl to the power minus 4 into t square for part b pressure is force by area that is force divided by l square hence dimension of pressure is fl to the power minus 2 in part c we have to find the dimension of momentum Momentum is given by mass into velocity, thus dimension of momentum is dimension of mass into dimension of velocity. Dimension of momentum thus is mlt to the power minus 1. Now dimension of force is mlt to the power minus 2. Thus we can write dimension of momentum as mlt to the power minus 2 into t. Thus dimension of pressure is force into time, that is f into t. In part 4 of this question, we have to find the dimension of energy in terms of force, length and time. Energy is force into displacement, thus dimension of energy is dimension of force into dimension of displacement. Thus dimension of energy is force into length, that is FL. To request any question of HC Verma, please post the question number and chapter number in comment section. Subscribe the channel for latest updates. Thank you for watching.